everybody. How y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? Oh, what up? What up? Man as a respect man. I your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. And all of you, tons and tons of you who are new right on over here, it's a special welcome to you. And thank you so much for joining the Jamaican cooking journey. Those who are there from the beginning and you're still here, manners and respect. Now today, we are gonna do something. Something, some people might embrace it, some people might not. For whatever the reason, I don't know, or maybe they will know. How could we be running a cooking journey, a Jamaican cooking journey, and we not have no curry chicken back on it? We ain't got any curry chicken back. And that's what we are gonna do today. We are gonna cook curry chicken back and dumpling. So let me show you what happened right here. I have my pot with my water. I may put down when I eat to about little less than medium. Mm -hmm. Right here we are cook some dumpling. I just put on my eat. I have hot water in my kettle. I have Jesse. I Jesse I got roll with the chicken back. I don't know she do the thing. Right hand over here. I've got two set of um mixture. This is plain flour with salt, and this is also plain flour with um cornmeal and we have salt in there okay i'm gonna put a little oil to it or a little butter and i'm not gonna show you for those of you those of you who are new over here and you might want to say oh she never show you how to mix the dumpling we have the cornmeal dumpling video up or you can make the cornmeal dumpling in depth from scratch we have the flour dumpling we are gonna leave for you in the description of this video the link to those videos so you can see how we make we dumpling so I'm using I'm making plain flour and I'm using one with cornmeal so at the end of it you will be able to pick your choice so first and foremost my hands are clean and me I go deal with the dumpling first I want to mix my dumpling and let it start cook before me start angle the chicken back I even though you can't angle the chicken back and wash your hand I prefer to deal with the dumpling thing first before me deal with the chicken back. Because the chicken back is a little bread like this. Now, cure your wash your hand. It take a little time before that extra round is come out fine. So, me prefer to mix my flour first. How do you do it when you're making chicken back and dumpling? So, me have to go now, prepare my dumpling dough, and me have to return. Mm? Okay, now, family, we are right back here with the two different type of dough. Our cornmeal and our flour. Let me take them up and show you. Get a close up on them, camera girl. This is the cornmeal and this is the flour. But I want to say something to you. When you're cooking these dumplings, different dumplings in one pot, you have got to make an indication on each one. So find some way about the way they are going to make some long or some round, some bigger than some. Because when they are cooked, it is going to be hard for you, know, for you to know the cornmeal dumpling different from the flour dumpling. I am telling you from experience. So this is the cornmeal dough. So we pop right this up and it's boiling. Okay, nice soft dough. You make your dough and put it down. Make it ahead of time and make it get fit. So you want to make your cornmeal dumpling a certain. You know, you want to know the difference. So you want to make them just like small and thick. So you make them like this. So them know say when you cook, you say, yeah man, can you cook your pot, you know? I can't make dumpling them man. So them thick and small. You put in your cornmeal dumpling. Now you're going to make one of your flour dumpling because you need to know the difference. So you have to make the flour dumpling them at a, in a different way. So you make the flour dumpling them a little bigger and a little thinner. So when the pot cook, you will know these are the flour, these are the cornmeal. So one cornmeal one flour makes sense if it does type in the comment section so me i gonna go now make half the whole of my dumpling them and when you see me next we are gonna deal with that chicken back curry chicken back issue eh so we have we finished making with dumpling them now and then in the pot are cook so see them right in there so when them finish you will see what i go on eh so we have a dumpling that cook at a you know you know when it start cooking you have to kind of half mass the pot because the fat in and all of that will come up. So we dumpling thing there. When you see the dumpling video, you will know what to do. Now we are going to adjust the grate. 
This is the great chicken back. This is the great of the greatest chicken back. Where all of us, 99% of us as Jamaicans, if we, wherever you are, if there's a doctorate, there's a master's, there's a bachelor, to your name, whatever, 99% of us at some time or in our lives in Jamaica, and I'm talking about Jamaicans who are at home now and are abroad, know about it. If you know nothing about that, something a chicken back, curry chicken back, or fry up chicken back, you know, we have one of the fried chicken back and, 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 the, and the channel here where we mix it with aki. So today, we're going to do it differently. We're going to do the curry chicken back. So this is the great chicken back. And I thought, if I'm not lying, but I'm going to throw the question out. Do you get chicken back in foreign? You Jamaicans, maybe the foreigners, I'm not sure. If you're not a Jamaican and you know chicken back, could you come in please? I'll be grateful. But all of you Jamaicans, since you're not that foreign, you ever see chicken back? Have you ever cooked curry chicken back since you're there? Let's proceed. So, are the greatest thing this, you know? So you know how it's still. It have the whole of fat, what we don't need. So we can easily well pull it off with the hands and in Jamaica now we would use this to like cook up fry up some people turn cornmeal or cook a little rice and then you mix like the bad food where you gear dog them so you fry up this nice pick it up cook it up and mix it up with a little um cornmeal or a little rice or whatever and then you mix the little bag food with it and give it to your puppies then that's how we do it yeah so a whole heap of things are going for the chicken box so let me show you now you take off those fat and inside the camera girl, you are getting in this with them. So we are fair watch, we are dumpling pot right over here. We are fair, it's coming over. So these are some little things inside here that you use your knife. Use a small knife. I'm just going to show you a piece you know, how you do it. And take out these parts. Take off the excess. But I don't have like fat in it. If you don't have it, I saw some bone here go end up with. Some people pair it, some don't pair it. Because you can't see that one and have no whole of meat on it. But nevertheless, we are going to work around it, you know. You know? So when you're done, you want to have it. Some people will want to pair off here, so, but I don't do it. So, you want to have it something like this. Excess, this fat round here, to me, them are the most critical ones. So you dig out these and them little thing here. So when you finish, each piece must look like this. So we are going to get all of we want clean up now. Come back, go and chop it up and season it up, make you see. Yeah. All right now, okay now. Let me look at my stove. So, this is three pounds. So, I got all of this off of my three pounds. Some people now take off so much, some people might take more. But this is what I have. I know I'm supposed to leave a little of the, 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 the you know, the fat part on it for keep it moist. That in the all, you know, I know how to do it. So, depending on you, you do your thing. Each to his own, as we always say. Now, this is how you want it looking that's for you well that is not for you this is for me and this little part here me always leave my if you if you leave your part like this on we call it the oil bag some say a chicken batty i don't know what them call it but i know that little piece that tastes nice whatever it is when me a little pit me used to love it and now when i cook curry chicken back i saw me like it so me leave it on if you leave your one on please come in so you want to have your thing look like this now look at this so let me wash my hands because and I'm going to do a video on how to wash your hands and to keep your hands clean in the kitchen. Because some people type sometimes things about washing hands as if a lot of us know to wash our hands properly. We do. I've got to be the, 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 the owner of a valid food handler's permit. I'm a Jamaican. And for me to be in any type of doing any kind of food, I have to be the owner of a valid food handler's permit. And when you go for that in Jamaica, you are being taught how to wash your hands properly. And I am going to do a video on the Jamaican derivatives. I know how to wash my hands to prevent contamination and all of that. I do know. But some people tend to type sometimes. And I'm not sure if all who are typing really do know. So I'm going to do a video. We know how to wash my hands, man. God Almighty. Hello, please. Okay, so I'm riding and whistling at this point. A long time, I'm going to see me ride and whistle. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put some bicarbonate of soda on mine. Cleanse yours how you want to. This is how I do mine, okay? And I'm also going to pour some white vinegar on it. 
and make that go for me thing come up. When I do that, I'm gonna leave it in some water. And my water pressure is really low. I'm gonna leave it in some water for about another five minutes and wash it off and then make a chop it up. So when you see me back, I'm gonna show you how I proceed for season that chicken back here for go curry. See? Yeah family, time for season with chicken back. Eh? So look here, I have some garlic. That's the very first thing I'm gonna do. I'm going to grate off some garlic in this thing and I'm going to grate off about 5 or 6 pegs. Grate the amount of garlic till you like it. So all my garlic I'm going to grate off, yeah, 3 pounds and I'm going to do my cleaning up on this leaf. This is the amount of garlic I need. Use to the amount that you like or if you want to use garlic powder, garlic flakes, whatever. Ginger thyme. This is what I'm using. This is like the chunk of what I'm using. Ginger, finish. I have two onions here. I'm gonna chop one and I'm gonna grate a one. So I'm gonna start grating my onion, eh? Okay, we finish all our gratering. Mm? So I'm gonna have my, my next onion, chop off, rough chop, fine chop, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna have my scallions, frozen scallions they are. Use fresh ones if you have, it doesn't matter. Okay, all of those are heen and all of that. Now we are gonna use a little powdered version of what we have. I'll be having a my powdered version outside of the curry and of course I'm gonna put some salt. Eh? Salt to your liking. Uno no semina like no whole pas salt plus this curry that I'm using as salt in there. This is some grounded old clothes. I'm using this to substitute pimento. It is as good or even better than pimento. Old clove cloves freshly grounded. So may I put in a little? It's strong, so I'm now put in the oil in. Eh? And then I'm gonna put in a little black pepper, do to your liking. Sprinkle about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper right in there. I'm gonna have some celery powder. If you have fresh celery, chop some with the green scallions and put it in there. You can all freeze the celery. I'm gonna do that video. You can have frozen celery sticks. So if you do have that, you chop some with the scallion and put it in there. All right? Now, last but not least, this is the king in the curry chicken back. You gotta have some of this scotch bonnet pepper. Use as much to your liking. I'm using these two nice size slices and be careful with this pepper. This, if you get the pepper like this, this is not the little common ones I'm telling you about. This is scotch bonnet pepper. And you might want to not use the seeds if you're cooking for small children or for people that cannot manage eat. Just use the, and it must be ripe, not the green. Okay? But omit the seeds if it's too... If like people you're cooking for can't manage spice, you just put this part in there or make the seeds. It won't be so hot. So, we think we have all of the something in. I have two spoons here. Come on, girl, can you get this? This one is for constantly stirring around my dumplings so they don't stick. Yes. And this one here, I'm using to rub in my chicken back. Rub up my chicken back. Eh? So, this is the... Rub in your chicken back, you know. Rub it in and we are going to leave it for about 10 minutes. We don't want no more than that. We are going chicken back and dumpling we are cooked. And when we are done with our thing, we don't have to marinate the chicken back from how much hours. I curry chicken back, hungry, hungry, curry chicken back and dumpling. When you come, when you see me next, we will be ready with this currying process. Hmm? All right, now. I saw my chicken back look. Eh? And if you smell it. So, remember, use your seasonings of choice. Now right hand over here, I'm done telling Mr. Jesse I can preside already over the curry chicken back here, which you know should I did not know. I have here some used chicken oil, fried chicken oil. Let me turn on the stove here and get the thing. Come on girl, are you here? This, as you can see, there are some sediments in there. Please put the camera on the camera girl. This is used fried chicken, a little oil. Most of what is in there are sediments. From the fried chicken which as you know are the flour half of the fried chicken we i not we i'm gonna burn some curry into this this sediment from the fried chicken will enhance or will enable some body some thickening to the curry chicken back gravy so hence we have it in there so we are gonna put in the curry powder three pound of curry our chicken back yeah i don't know me tell you much curry so my curry look nice and proper yeah, so, pan the eat here. We are going to turn up the thing. We don't know this regular, you know. We do this too much time on the Jamaican cooking journey. We're going to, when we come, when we return, you see how my curry's here, though. 
So them stem the them like a seedy sediment sediment. You burn upon the medium to I eat. You know this so much, you all. And if you're new right on over here and you have not seen my curry chicken video, we're gonna um, encourage you to go check for it. Let us burn our curry. And when we come back, we are gonna drop in with chicken back and show you all this thing here. I'm gonna go on in the day here. Huh? Okay? And if you're new right on over here, this is how we burn the curry until it gets frothy. Burn it on a medium to high heat and this is how it looks. This is how it looks. Now we are going to turn our, um, bring our heat down to low. Why? We don't want to put in the, the meat upon the high heat and then too much of the fumes. If you, even if you have your cooker or the range or whatever it have up there, so it is going to take the thing right through the house and we don't want that so you get it down to low. All right, right down to low. Now that it's down to low, you can return it back to almost to high. So you know what we are going to do now. Hello, we are not new over here and know the norm. Please to tell those who are new over here. Tell them what we are doing right here in the comment section. I'm blessed and highly favored. Let us get it back down to a little less than medium. I cook what up them baby yeah. Make them look nice and pretty. Everybody must get the curry look. We don't want some curry and some no curry. A curry thing we say. In front of curry we say. A curry we say. Alright? Okay. Bless her highly favored. Right on baby. Using some of the hot water. And you know say so your water supposed to hot enough. You know that. eh? So we are going to rinse out this. Get to eat right from back up to eye. And we are going to throw this to the side, not on the meat. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do the video and show you why not on the meat one of these days. I'm going to show you what it does to the meat. Eh? And it looks like we even got too much in the water a while ago. But I know nothing. So we get the thing all coated and we have the thing. And this is curry chicken back in motion, you all. We soon come back. Okay, now family. About 95% through into the cooking process and you know a little at a time a little at a time with the water you know it just the same eh all right now we just put in the last amount of water because put the camera for me we are gonna make gravy now we are gonna gravy down this thing so we just put in the last set of water what we want you to do come on girl come on girl right in look at the gravy look at the gravy okay i did say to you the sediment from the fried chicken will enable you to get a thick gravy. So we don't almost know. You can see with the simmering that it is low. So at this point, if you have some chopped carrots, you know, but I want the Irish potato in this now, you know, because the Irish potato is going to bring it to a clump. Okay? So if you have some carrots or a tin of um, butter bean or any little thing where you want to enhance with it, you can put it down. I have nothing to enhance it. So I eat this as this is it as it is. So I'm gonna leave it on the simmer. Let it simmer when you simmer back. We are gonna plate up this beer. This, we are gonna plate up this thing, you know. We are gonna plate up this thing, and all who don't eat chicken back, I will see. Okay, now family, we are we done, you know. We are through. We just a simmer. So look at this. Curry chicken back. Look at this, y'all. Curry chicken back. We we'll turn it off. Leave it for settle. Now I want to say something right here and right now to you. Oh, I burned the curry in that used chicken oil with the sediment from the fried chicken. It's not a must. I chose to do it that way and I share it with you if you would like to. You can go ahead, burn your curry how you want to burn it. If you want to burn it in a little melted butter, but be careful. It will burn because you know butter burns things easily. If you want to burn it in some water, well, if you want to boil it in some water before you put in your chicken, because some people, this, they're just not in a nut with oil. So you just might want to add some water, put your curry in it and boil it. But can I say something to you? Can we do a video and boil in some curry in some water and then we add the chicken? Maybe we try that now. Yeah, man, maybe the people that like the oil might welcome it. If you'd like me to do that, please comment. But uh, let us get back to the meat of the matter. You don't have to do it that way. It is just something that I do, and I don't do it the way that way all the time. It's not all the time I have 
fried chicken, oil and gravy left. Some of that just put me little piece of, or sometimes I just use my little chicken fat. When things get bad, we have to take piece of the chicken back fat and burn it in the add, make it put in the add, make it add fat and get little oil and burn the curry. If you know nothing about that, please come in. So now, we are left with chicken back for, 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 um, for a second. And we are going to dish up some of our curry chicken back and dumpling. Eh? Let us do this. Now, you will have we dumpling them cook and we dumpling them over here and them ready. How they do? The first thing you do, you must let your dump take out your dumpling them and let them drain. Now, it's quite evident that this is the flour and this is the cornmeal. Remember, we did make some smaller than some. Yeah, so look here. You do not take up the dumpling them with the water where it's cooking uh, and dish it and make the whole heap of dumpling water there and run all about in the plate. And then when you put the chicken back and something pan it now, it just look with the dumpling water and the chicken back gravy and it just looks sickening. No, take up your dumpling and make your dumpling train off properly. We are going to plate up some of this thing and come back and present to you. See? Okay, family, all plated. I don't know who to eat chicken back from who not eat chicken back, but me know me eat chicken back. My family eat chicken back. I don't eat chicken back, you know. I don't eat chicken back. If you eat chicken back, wall your plate. All flour dumpling, all cornmeal, mixed dumpling. Flour, one big carty, and two cornmeal. Some people eat different. Everybody do them thing different. People eat so funny. People order. When I was doing catering, people order so funny. Sometimes the things they order, when you have a variety of things on the menu, it, it, would, it, would, it just, you know, it just make it just make you just feel so wow people can't eat like that. Well I saw people eat. Some people want two pieces, some of my and some of the flour. Straight caramel, straight flour. Pick your choice. Talk to me in the comment section. Take up your plate of chicken back and dumpling. And talk to me in the comment section. Now you notice now that we cook, you notice you can hardly identify the cornmeal by color from the flour. That is why we did it that way. And this is for you if you have your family. Because sometimes we have a family. Some people want a flour dumpling. Some people want a cornmeal dumpling. This is an idea for you. Okay, remember to like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments below. That is how we talk. When you see me do it here, we talk in the comment section. Leave your comments below. Principled and decent. Want to be a, a member of the post notification crew? Just all you've got to do. Watch it there, watch your video, make sure you're subscribed. When you do subscribe, hit the bell. After you hit the bell and you, the video, them come and you watch them. Comment, the first or second to comment, you will be a part of the post notification crew. Today's post notification shout out goes to Amaru Cooks. Who na know Amaru Cooks for the Jamaican cooking journey? Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, thank you so much, Amaru. You are my tower of strength for me right here on the Jamaican cooking journey. And all of you, please go right on over. He has three channels Amaru Cooks, Amaru Music, Amaru Online. Go show Amaru some serious, decent, principled love and support. We are going to leave the link. So are the name of his three channels in the description. Go show him some love, you all. Debbie from Donga Yard, bless, no stress. Chicken back and dumpling, Jamaican sinting.